Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the new trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I didn't know there was an old trailer, this is a new one, but up for the Super Bowl um, yesterday, uh, first time seeing uh, anything from this. Um, if you've known me and watched any of my videos, you'll know I'm not a huge fan of Guardians. I enjoyed the first film on first watch, second time around and more time since, not really that bothered. Guardians 2 kind of thought it took what people, normies, enjoyed about the first film and upped them which made me as more of a comic fan collected comics for like 15 years kind of like ah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really into this both films seem to have been written and made around a playlist more than anything else because that's what people take away is like oh a disco song from the 70s oh an 80s retro song um it wouldn't surprise me if they do the same for this this is the third and final james gunn Guardians of the Galaxy film. I think it might be the third and final one for a lot of the cast. I know Batista said he's not coming back. Don't know about Pratt. Don't know about the others. We shall see. I do know this film should have already come out. I think for the original time scale for Phase 4, this was supposed to be part of Phase 4, not part of Phase 5. And I think this Guardian series, and this film particularly, was supposed to kick off what happened next after Endgame, which was going to be the Cosmic Saga. Uh, which we're kind of getting, but everything got twisted and moved around. Now we're here with it. So let's see. Can the final Guardians film do anything for me? I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, pop culture, I'm pop culture music. Yeah. The Guardians. Got Groot. Met a girl. Groot's been on that chicken and broccoli. That girl died, but then she came back. And she's angry. some important information but that is the gist of it has Pratt stopped working out these days as well who are you is to create the perfect society he didn't want to make things oh we're getting a backstory he just hated things the way they are Power Ranger. Is that a big organic planet? Tista's looking a bit. Oh, we have we have Nova, an ugly, ugly kid playing Nova. We were always searching for a family until we found each other. Lots of cute animals. Are you ready for one last ride? That's not another Kang, is it? Into the forever and beautiful sky. Trying to hammer on some kind of uh, was that you were emotion. It sounds more like her. Her? Do not bring me into this. No, <laughs> Knock it off! What? I just never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He he picked a pretty set. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel humor. Still there. Still shit. I will give the Guardians one thing. Visually, the planets and stuff that they do look good. Look good. It's probably all that green screen Mandalorian thing that they've uh, taken to the past few years. But it, at least it has some design, some aesthetics to it. A lot of the planets and stuff we see in some films now just, it could be anything. I'm trying to find that. This one. Yeah, it looked like when they're diving out of here. It looks like this planet's just a whole big organism, like you see, like muscular strands and stuff. So this will be, like at least it's visually, it looks good, looks nice. It looks, it distinguishes it from, from the stuff I've seen in Ant-Man, which just looks, the backgrounds look like a visual mess. 
at least this this looks good looks good i can't tell if is this another kang he's got the purple i don't know i don't know i don't know if he's like some weird high council thing i don't know if he's another kang because we're supposed to have in lots of kangs in phase five six moving forward they're, they're really trying they're trying the hardest to build him up as a as a, as a big threat um which the, the kang that i saw in the bits of loki just came across as a, a theater actor trying way too hard and did not seem intimidating anymore the guy's a big big juicy guy he's a big man but no we, yeah we got will porter will will i think it's will porter playing nova which probably should have been in it from the start oh and is it nova adam warlock i think one in the same kind of like the new look for group but yeah, we got lots of lots of fuzzy animals, lots of fuzzy animals to keep all the girls happy. Like, oh, we got baby Groot's not there, not there anymore. So we got an otter now. We got a dog. I think he's a talking dog, or at least can talk through his mind, Professor X style. Until we found you. And we got a fuzzy, another fuzzy thing. But they're really trying to ham home the last. It's the last. It's the last care about it it's the last see the peter forever. screaming at someone's potential death harm i know batista said he's not coming back so could it be him if the kid i don't trust anyone to die in the marvel world i learned my lesson reading comics that people don't actually die people can come back anytime we have elseworlds we have multiverses you know, we saw that with Gamora. She was from another time. Pluck her out, bring her over, drop her in. She's in this one now. They could do that another time with uh, another film. Be like, he missing Steve Rogers as Captain America. Oh, 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 we got him. Here's another one. He looks different. It's because he's from another world. There you go. He's back in ours now. Everyone's happy. I don't know. I don't know. It does feel, feel like another film where it's going to be like, pop culture music, pop culture music. They'll try and do, like, it feels like they're trying to do something emotional, but I don't trust it because it'll be like there'll be an emotional moment instead of just letting it sit, letting it hang. They'll be like, oh, got to do a joke. Got to do Move on. Joke. Move on. It would be nice if it were a full serious film, but I doubt it. And this is the big hurrah goodbye to James Gunn, who's now moved over to the other side. Um, it would be nice to see... Um, Chris Pratt back. I like him. I think he's a decent guy. The rest of the team, if they all left, they all left. There's enough aliens and characters out there that he could build another Guardians. I wouldn't necessarily miss any of them. If they went, if he built a new team, that might be quite fun. Or if he just becomes more earthbound. I don't know, but out of all these characters, Peter Quill's probably the only one that I'd have any interest in seeing after this. So. There we go. That's the first big Marvel film of the... Oh, wait, no, it isn't. We've got Ant-Man. That's out in a couple of weeks. That's how little I care about that. So we've got Guardian. We've got Ant-Man, Guardians. What else is due out this year? Marvels. That's it. Marvels. The Marvels. It, Captain Marvel 2, which I don't know when that's coming because we haven't got a trailer for that. Don't, don't care whatsoever for that. For the build-up for Kang, for his films. Yeah. What a strange year. What a strange year. So let me know your thoughts below on this. If there's any story details that I want, I didn't quite pick out in this in this trailer, let me know down below. I'm alright if you spoil the film or spoil plot points. It's fine with me. I'm not too bothered. I'm not too bothered. So as always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Do our algorithm stuff. Check the links in the descriptions. Ways to follow me and support the channel. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.